My name is Lisa Whitehouse. I'm a watercolor artist from Manitoba, Canada. I create watercolor paintings of people's pets and wildlife. I started playing around with watercolors in 2015 when I made the decision to stay at home with my kids. And I loved watercolors. They were easy to bring with me, hang out at the breakfast table with them, and just paint with them. And they like to do it too. My first painting I ever sold was a fox, and I had someone, a customer reach out to me afterwards saying, hey, if you can paint a fox, maybe you can paint my dog. So the first dog I painted was someone's boxer. It was a little more true to the natural colors, and I had fun with it. it made me very nervous at first. But I overcame it, and I kept practicing and practicing, and people would bring me more and more photos to work from. And I found as I kept going that I got better at it and better, and I really started to enjoy it. And now it's my favorite part of what I do, painting people's pets. I love the emotion that people convey to me when they see their painting for the first time. I paint a lot of pets for people whose animals have passed away, and it means a lot to them that they can see their animals in bright, vibrant colors. I think it captures the personality and the spirit of the dogs and cats that I paint. I've always loved to paint. I've been painting animals since I can remember. I used to lay canvases out on my bedroom floor and paint wolves and lions and tigers. I love to paint anything with eyes. My mom even said at one point that I was allowed to paint the walls. So when I was a kid, the walls in my bedroom had tigers on them and lions on them and even a wolf howling at the moon. For me, I've always enjoyed looking at art, and I've always been drawn to the more colorful artwork. And so when I decided to start with watercolors, I wanted to play around with different types of color and bright colors, and it was a bit of a natural progression. I experimented with my pet portraits, going more natural, going more colorful. And I was always happiest with the end result when it was extremely vibrant, and my customers were too. I think people liked seeing their animals in a way they haven't seen them before. When I see certain colors, I see them in rainbow. So if I'm looking at a photograph, it pops out to me in the colors that I paint with. I'm so used to seeing whites as blues and teals and purples now that I can't even look at a photograph without seeing it that way. So now when I'm painting someone's dog and I get a white dog, I see it as rainbow. I see all the shades, I see all the highlights, I see all the lowlights, I see them as rainbow colors. I like to always start with the eyes because I feel like right then it gives them a personality before I even get started with the rest. There's been times where I haven't started with the eyes and I feel like the painting's missing something the whole time. So I feel like I have to add that component first so that right off the bat, I'm excited about finishing it. I get asked a lot if I've painted certain animals, cardinals, snow leopards, turtles, and I like to be able to say that I have. People buy art because they want to connect with something and I feel like people really connect with nature. When people ask me, do you have a polar bear? My daughter really loves polar bears. I love to be able to show them that piece. And I love to see the excitement on the kids' faces when they see their favorite animal in rainbow watercolors. My goal with art has always been to make people happy. And I feel like my art does that. I feel like my art brings a smile to people's faces. A lot of customers will ask me for a specific animal that they have in mind, something that means a lot to them. And I love creating such a variety that allows me to have that perfect piece for them. Certain animals I get requests for a lot, and I try to create as many of them as possible. So one that specifically stands out for me is a cardinal. I've had a lot of people tell me that a cardinal, for them, represents a loved one who's passed. And in the past, when I've shown them the cardinal piece I have, it brings such a smile to their face because now they own a piece of art that for them represents that loved one. And I try to make my art in such a way that it brings a smile to people's faces. I love to make people happy through art. I think it's great that people can have a piece of art in their home that makes them smile whenever they look at it.